Okay, isoline number nine. We're going to go ahead and start with a solid, four inches long, inch and a half wide, two and a half inches tall. You can see we're going to be using a lot of protractor here. Let's hit R for rectangle. Click once at the origin. Let's move away. Four comma one point five. Enter. P for push pull. Click once. Come up. Two point five. And this time around, I'm definitely going to be using the front view. Once again, if this isn't turned on, if you go to View, Toolbars, make sure your Views option is available. I'm going to use my roller. I'm going to zoom in. One thing you'll find here is we have this 30 degree angle that I'm going to start off with. And then I'm going to actually put a guide at 2.5 inches to then figure out this 60 degree angle. So let's start with that 30 degree angle. Protractor tool. That's also underneath tools. Protractor. I'm going to go ahead and click once. And once again, if you don't see green, you can hover around. Hold on your shift key if you need to lock green in. But I'm going to go ahead and click once on this corner. When you move anywhere along this edge, click a second time. That defines zero. And then as I move away, I can then type in 30. Now this next step, I'm going to use my, my tape measure. Watch this. I'm going to hit T for tape measure. I'm going to come over here once again to this corner to click, move in, and just type in 2.5. I'm actually going to define a guideline going from here just all the way to this point. Now this is going to help me. I'm going to go ahead and click on my protractor again you'll notice that you have a 60 degree angle. I want to kind of use this as our, as our reference, a 60 degree angle. So I'm going to go ahead and click once here, a second time anywhere along this guideline. I'm going to move away from that guideline and I'm going to type in 60. Okay, this starts to get really busy here. I'm going to go ahead and use my line tool just to kind of start to see what's happening here. So I actually have drawn this from here to here and this from here to here. That way you can kind of just see how this is coming together. Okay, now I'm going to draw this 15 degree angle here. This is actually pretty simple. I click on my protractor. So I'm actually going to click once here anywhere along this edge, it doesn't matter where, anywhere. I'm going to move in and once again type in 15 degrees. Okay, I'm going to use my L for line tool and just to give you a sense of what I just did, I went from here to here. Okay, I'm now going to go ahead and really just finish this up and just draw this angle right here. So this is an inch in length, it's three quarters of an inch from the bottom. I'm going to put a 15 degree angle here. Let's go back to our tape measure, T for tape measure, and click once here, and come up 3 fourths of an inch, or 0.75, whatever works for you. And I'm going to hit L for line, and from here I'm going to click once, I'm going to come in 1 inch. Now the last thing I need to do is I'm going to hit my protractor, select that, I'm going to click once here, I'm just going to come straight down. It really doesn't matter how far down I go. I'm just going to come straight down. I'll just click here. Move away from that point. I'm going to type in 15 for 15 degrees. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit help the line tool. And there's the shape. Now it's very busy, so let me go up to view. Let me turn off guides. There it is. Okay, just a lot of push pulling here. Let me push pull that. Let me push pull this, and let me push pull that. Okay, there it is. Once again, another video I might need to go back and watch again, but as you can see here, the protractor really comes in handy. Um, using uh, my views comes in handy. Using my tape measure comes in very handy. So if you need to replay this video, play it again, and just keep your eyes on your paper there. Just check on those angles and the length of those lines. Good luck.